Hello YouTube viewers, hope you are all doing good and um, welcome to this video. Um, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a Kubernetes cluster in your uh, Google Cloud Console using the GKE service. Um, if you haven't followed my previous video, uh, it was about uh, installing the gcloud SDK and uh, creating your uh, Google Cloud Console uh, first project and enabling a couple of APIs like Kubernetes Engine API, Compute Engine API, and so on. Right, in this video, um, let's create our first Kubernetes cluster. Back in my browser, I'm going to log into my Google Cloud Console. Google Cloud Console, and I'm logged in, and I've got my default project here. If you want to create a cluster, go to Kubernetes Engine and Clusters. Okay, so the default is you don't have any clusters, you can create cluster. And I'm going to hit Create Cluster. Um, standard cluster template, okay, cluster name, quick demo. So that's the cluster. Uh, that's the uh, cluster name. Zonal or regional? If you click the little um, help icon here, a regional cluster provides a single static endpoint, um, enabling you to access the cluster's control plane regardless of any outage or downtime or individual zone. That's okay. This is just for a quick demo. Um, zone. I'm going to select Europe West One uh, C. Uh, master version, if you look at here, there are lots of uh, um, Kubernetes version, but the default you get is 1.10.9. Uh, the highest you can get is 1.11.6, but in all my previous videos, um, when I installed the Kubadium, uh, it installed uh, Kubernetes version 1.13.2, I think that's the latest one. But the default you get is 1.10.9. I'm going to stick with the default one here. Node pools. How many nodes do you want to um, assign and what's the type of uh, compute instance um, you're going to create? Okay, um, one CPU. I'm going to say micro instance, not a uh, major one with 0.6 gig of memory. A number of nodes, I think the minimum number of nodes is three. If you try to create one, it says the total number of nodes in the cluster must be at least three when all the nodes um, have the same machine type EF1 micro. Okay, no worries. Number of nodes, three uh, micro instances. Add node pool, advanced options. Let's go to the advanced options. Availability, which zone, um, maintenance window, anytime, that's okay. Default VPC, load balancing, network security, I'm going to leave everything to the default. Labels, do you want to add labels to your nodes? Um, for example, add label, key to add to your nodes. I'll just leave that to the default. Enable Kubernetes dashboard, enable Istio. I don't want to enable uh, the Kubernetes dashboard because this itself is a dashboard. You don't need a dashboard, separate dashboard. Okay, create. That will create a Kubernetes cluster and I haven't clicked uh, create yet. What you can also do is if you want to do it from the command line, uh, the command would be gcloud container clusters create and you can do minus minus help and that's the long list of options, uh, whatever you want. Basically, the cluster uh, name, name of your cluster. These are all optional parameters. So the only thing you need is gcloud container clusters create and the name of the container. For example, gcloud container clusters create quick demo. So that will create a Kubernetes cluster with the default options, but we have changed a lot of options on uh, on the web console. Uh, we didn't want to go with the uh, the one CPU version. We wanted to go with the micro instances. So if you want to do lots of customizations, um, do minus minus help and see what options are available. And there will be some examples at the end. 
I believe. No? Okay. Okay, so you can play with this uh, help option or there is a command line here. If you click that one, so that's basically it. G Cloud Beta Container Project Clusters Create. Um, it's selecting the project as well, so we don't need that uh, object. Basically, G Cloud Containers Cluster Create and all these options. Um, zone username cluster version machine type is f1 micro image type disk type um, if we want to do it via command line what we need is g cloud container clusters create quick demo um, minus minus zone is vest c and uh, the only other change we made was the machine type to micro okay so that's it so that's how you create your cluster from the command line but I'm not going to do that uh, let's create another cluster uh, called um, jungle cluster for example first let's um, create the cluster from the Google Cloud console and then we can look at it uh, from the command line okay if I click create so it's creating the cluster at the moment it's gonna take a while and um, uh, let me pause the video here and come back when it's ready all right uh, the cluster has been created as you can see here the cluster name is quick demo cluster size is 3 where it's deployed location uh, 3 CPUs total memory is 1.8 gig uh, we've got 3 nodes and you can click in here and it shows you um, the master version upgrade available you can upgrade your cluster if you want um, all those details permissions and uh, the uh, the pool size size 3 um, what type of instance we deployed f1 micro and so on okay and if you click connect here you can either do this one um, or you can uh, run in a cloud shell I'm gonna show both the ways here let me copy this content that's copied okay let's run this command a little later I'm gonna paste the uh, command that I copied from uh, the web okay so basically it's copied the uh, the cube config the uh, kubernetes cluster configuration file now if I do kubectl version minus minus short so that's the server version kubectl cluster info so that's our cluster kubectl get nodes so we have uh, three nodes all of them are in ready status kubectl uh, get component status they're all healthy we've got two um, HCD data store scheduler control manager cool so that's one way if you want to run uh, in your local workstation if you want to connect to the GKE cluster so that's the uh, that's one way and the other way is run in a cloud shell which means it's going to provision you a, a temporary instance uh, where you can run your kubectl commands but before that I'm gonna show you basically when you created the Kubernetes cluster, it created three nodes. Basically, it has created three uh, compute instances for you. Let's take a look at uh, the instances. G Cloud Compute Instances List. If I do that, so basically these are the three compute instances um, we've got. That's the internal IP, external IP, and so on. 
Um, so now the other option to connect to the cluster is using the cloud shell. If I run in, at the bottom of this uh, web page you're seeing it's provisioning a Google Cloud Shell machine. Okay, so that's basically it and it's the same command that we ran on our workstation. So in this case it has uh, created a machine, uh, created an instance for us and we are running the same command to uh, set up our Kubernetes configuration file. And now we can basically do the same command, kubectl get nodes and so on. kubectl get nodes. So we've got those nodes. Cool. And back in the terminal, if I do the instances list command, it's the same set of lists. So I was expecting uh, another computer instance for this uh, shell. Okay, I'm going to close this one. So that's basically it. And if you want, you can delete your cluster here or uh, delete your cluster from the command line. G cloud container clusters delete quick demo. The following cluster will be deleted. Do you want to continue? Um, I would say no because I need to keep this cluster for my next video. What else we could do is we could create uh, another cluster from the command line. So if I go back here, go back to the uh, clusters and now let's try and create a cluster from the command line. Okay, so that's the um, command line and the cluster name is jungle-cluster. Let's see if it works. Warning, starting in 1.12. Okay, I think it seems to have worked. Creating cluster, jungle cluster in Europe West 1C. Okay, let's go ahead and refresh this page. Okay, so jungle cluster, that cluster is um, getting created. Let's wait for it to complete and then we can delete it from the command line. Right, um, jungle cluster, the Kubernetes cluster got created. So this one, quick demo, we created it from the web console. And jungle cluster, we created it from the command line. So it says uh, cube config entry generated for jungle cluster. Name is jungle cluster, Europe West 1C, and so on. And if I do G cloud compute instances list, you will see six instances. Okay, so these three are the ones for the jungle cluster that we created from the command line. Right, let's check how to delete it. G cloud container clusters list. G cloud container clusters delete jungle cluster. Do you want to continue? Yes. Deleting cluster jungle cluster. And back in the console, if I refresh, it says it's being deleted. The cluster is being deleted. Okay, let's leave it to delete. And um, okay, I think we have to wait. And uh, while it's getting deleted, let's see still if you've got the uh, environment set up to connect to the uh, the other cluster. Quick demo. kubectl get nodes. Nope because we forgot to run the run this command control C okay kubectl get nodes kubectl cluster info cool so this is the uh, quick demo cluster that we created from the web console so the other one is being deleted okay so <clears throat> that's it for this video and um, in the next video we will talk about how to deploy a quick um, nginx application into this kubernetes cluster and how you can scale it and uh, basically what we 
covered in all my previous videos. Uh, we'll just try some few things in uh, in this Kubernetes cluster. Right. Um, thank you so much for your time watching this video. I hope you found this useful. Um, if it is so, then please share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.